Hi, welcome back from Let's Do It. To my lovely subscribers, viewers and would-be subscribers, I am Bonajasna Gangli, back again to help you out. This time, I have come up with something which you have demanded. You have asked me that ma'am, how to start an answer when it is asked. You have posed me several questions. This is this happens. So, I have identified five situations that may help you. Let's start with the first one which it is positive way. Means you are happy to answer. You know the answer. But don't become overconfident and directly come to the answer. So let's begin with that. Situation number one, when you are happy or you know the answer. So first phrase for that. That's a nice question. Or you can start. I'm glad that you asked me. Or you can also say that I'm happy to answer this question. Now moving on to the next one. Situation 2. When you don't know the answer, how would you say that? Don't say I don't know or would you ask me our next question? Remember one thing, you are not allowed to ask the examiner to change the question. You can always ask them to rephrase it but never it is like you are asked to change the question. So, now the situation is you don't know the answer but you have to answer it. And how would you say? I don't know whether I'm right but let me give a try. Or else, should I frame it in this way? Or the third phrase which can help you? Let me give a try because I really don't know what is right answer to it. Situation 3. You forgot something. You already you were into it but you forgot something. Or you were not getting that word. So how would you say that? It's right on the tip of my tongue. Or you can say, I don't know the right way how to frame it. Or you can also say, sometimes what happens in your mother tongue, something is called a specific name or term is given to that. But you don't know what is it called in English. So you can specify that. So how do you start that one? You say, I don't know what exactly it is called in English. But in my regional language, it is called, then you give that word. Situation 4. Sometimes there are questions where your opinion is asked. Then you can start with, to be honest, frankly speaking. Or you can also say that, in my view. Now, in this, there are two. Sometimes you agree, sometimes you disagree. When you agree, you can say that I have the same view or you can also say I totally agree. When you disagree, it is not so that you bluntly say that. In that case, you can say sorry, I think so we are not on the same page. Or you can also say that you may be correct but I have some different view. The last situation for the day. How to end your Topic. So, fifth, ending. Simply it could be said to conclude or anything which is very common to sum up. But we can start with to cut the long story short or the answer to your question is or you can also say that my personal conclusion is and then you can add up your conclusion. I think so. You were quite enriched with the phrases. Practice the phrases. Apply whichever is convenient for you. And use them whenever required. Not only during English speaking test, but whenever you speak, please use them so that you develop the practice of speaking them. I think so. There is something which I really want to request my viewers. I know I have lovely viewers, but please subscribe my channel so that our subscribers number go higher which will be helpful for us meet you next in my next video keep watching thank you